All right, so we have a normal distribution with a mean of 35, standard deviation of 12.6, with the alternative hypothesis that the mu is not 35. We're going to test the 4% level of significance with a sample size of 30. We're going to find probability of type 2 error if this is the true mean. Well, here is our normal curve for our mean of 35. And so I know if alpha is 4%, I know I have a value here of 0 0.02, and I have a value over here somewhere as well of 0 0.02 is the area. And I want to find those values. And so I could find them if I go to inverse normal, because inverse normal, I find if I'm given the area, it will find me the, the value. So my area is going to be 0 0.02, my mean is 35, my standard deviation is 12.6 divided by square root of 30. Because every single number inside this normal curve is actually an average value. And so I can see what my value is. So each number inside here is really a group of 30 numbers. And so this value here is 30.275. And I'm going to store that in alpha A. Okay, and so this is my A value. Do the same thing here for this side. And so I'm going to go to my distributions, inverse normal. But here I'm going to go 0.98. I want the other side. Again, calculator works from left to right. And here I get 39.72, 39.72, and I'm going to store that value in B. Okay, this is B. But this is the curve we're starting off our hypothesis testing on, but we're told that in reality, the true mean is 39. So that means I have a second curve that is over here that looks something like this. Where here is 39. Okay. And so I bring down this value here, my 39.72. 39.72. I bring down this value here as well. This is 30.275, and the probability of a type 2 error is in here, okay? It's the probability of failing to reject the null hypothesis. That means it falls in this region between 30 and 39. The probability of falling in this region, but 35 was incorrect. So I, I failed to reject the null hypothesis, but I should have. And if I should have, there is a probability, there's the actual probability of failing to reject it is all this stuff here. So, and I need to find this area now. So the probability of a type 2 is equal to the probability of being between 30.2 and, oh, there's it. So I'm going to go 30.275 and x and 39.72, given that mu is equal to 39. So that's the, I want to calculate this area. I can go to my calculator and I go to distributions and I'm going to go normal CDF. I want to add them all up. I'm going to go from alpha A to alpha B which is my 30, my 39. My mean is 39 now. This is still 12.6 divided by the square root of 30. And then I get an answer, 6234, 0.62, 
three, four, I said three, four. So this is the probability of a type two error. And so this is doing a two-tailed test. I have to make sure that it ends here.